Hi guys, welcome back for another video. I'm really excited for today's video because for the very first time I went to Ulta. Yes, they were having a two day sale and I had to go. I was hearing so many good things about the store, I guess. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of makeup YouTubers and I just get so inspired and I've, I've never claimed to be anybody's makeup artist, honey. But I was just so like inspired to, you know, try new eyeshadows, new makeups, whatever. So I decided it was the perfect time to go to Ulta and to see what they have. And honey, by the way, I have a shirt on. It probably doesn't look like I have a shirt on, but I do. I, I spent, I spent, I spent the ducats. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, let's get into the video and I'll just get right into showing you guys what I got. Ask you not. Yeah. I seduce you with this Aston Martin I bought today. Oh, you didn't did more drugs to me. You must be hallucinating. Oh, you did more praise to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go through what I got and I'm gonna tell you guys the prices that I got them at. So the first thing that I saw and that I'm really excited for is this beauty gems palette i believe it's actually from sorry i've already used it if you see handprints but i believe it's um, a part of makeup forever and i really was amazed when i saw this because you get about 48 colors in this palette and it was 9.99 all of these colors and i test it I, I actually will do a swatch for you guys, so I'm just gonna take this black. Ooh, and just rub it around. So that's what the black looks like, and you do have to get down in it, but um, let's see what the pink looks like. So, I've, I'm gonna say, it swatches kind of ashy, like you have to actually dig your fingers into it to actually get color, but I've used it on my eyes already. Um, I'll put in, I guess, maybe some pictures or maybe you've seen it on Snapchat. And I actually got pretty good pigmentation, so sometimes it's not about the actual swatching and it's how it works when you put it on. So I'm really um, happy with this purchase, a $10 palette, you know, and like I said, I'm just trying to get started. So I wasn't gonna go out and buy like a Tarte palette for like $50 or, you know, Anastas Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Like I wasn't gonna go out and get those things for my first palette. So I'm really happy about um, this find. So the next thing that I got were these Eco Tool brushes and it comes with five brushes i've already used them but you get five brushes and they were $8.99 i have like two or three just like measly little eyeshadow brushes that i had i got them from walmart and so i was like you know what like i need actual brushes you know first of all when you're cleaning them you know you could do a look like one day and then the next day you do another color and you don't want to have to wash them all the time so i was like i need more than just like two or three brushes so that's why i decided to get more and so far i really love them they're really soft the lady who um was actually checking me out told me checking that sounded weird the lady who um was at the register when i was buying these the cashier lady who worked there oh my god why am i like freaking out about this but she told me that she had these same brushes and she's had them for years and she washes them very frequently and they're still holding up so i was really happy when i heard that so i'm excited about these brushes as well and it's kind of interesting it comes in this case that actually has a mirror which i'm not sure why it doesn't come with a lid so i don't know why they gave us this case with like this indent in it but you know i'm, I'm just gonna I guess next I got two lip gloss lipsticks so the first one I've been wanting to do I've been seeing girls with beautiful lips beautiful voluptuous lips and they have the gloss on it just the the sheer gloss and I was so interested by it 
and I realized that you can you could use this gloss on your lips as well as on your eyes actually earlier today I did a glossy eyelid neutral kind of look and I was like really excited to see this and it was only three dollars so I figured you know if it didn't work out for whatever reason it's only three dollars it you know not that big of a loss so I decided to get that I'm really excited about that and I also got the vivid hot liqueur by Maybelline it's a really pretty like, reddish brown color and I feel like it's very fall and wintry so I was pretty excited about this one too I guess I'm excited about all of them am I gonna say that for everyone who knows we'll see let's see but yeah so I've used this a couple of times and I like it I will say it's really thick and I'm so used to matte lipsticks it's not a matte one like it'll stay glossy um, it dries a little over time I guess but it is like if you drink something it's gonna come off pretty a lot of it and it does get a little splotchy but I don't know I'm kind of excited to... <sighs> there I go again. I'm very interested to see how this works and how I can make this work with other looks so that's that next this is a product that I've had a lot of people recommend to me tell me how great it is and swear by it and it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I... Ah, mm. So I, I try, I've used it for the last few days and I'm not gonna lie. It's a good mascara. I mean, I usually get like, I think it's like the Maybelline or something from Walmart and it, it works pretty well, but it dries out quickly. It, it you know you really have to it gets kind of chunky you have to put a lot of layers on for to get any length and you can't like curl it I don't know it's just like it's a process when I use this I've used it like two or three times already and um, I feel like I it takes a few swipes just to see a difference which is really good I feel like it really does add a length already to my um, eyelashes and I feel like it really gives it length and volume. So I'm really excited about this. It's such a cute, sleek little case. It's like a light pink. It's kind of heavy. You know, it lets you know that it's like made out of good materials. But also, um, what's kind of interesting about this, it has a dual ended brush. Well, I guess it's not dual ended, but what I like about it is that the brush on here has a hump here and then it gets narrow and then it has a hump on the end and it really helps like you can get the middle of your eyelash you can use a little bulbous part of it to get your bottom row without you know smudging on the bottom like it I really like how they manufactured the tip and the applicator so Too Faced okay girl I see you oh I almost forgot the most important part this one was expensive you're paying for quality and it, it was $23 and we're just gonna leave it at that sorry mom it was $23 it's fine everything's fine so next I was needing a misting a finishing spray because I ran out of mine I usually got I think I got the NYX one no this is I don't remember which one I, I got before I got it from Walmart and this one I really like already I mean okay so just to let you know yes I've used some of these products because I I went to Ulta today is Tuesday I went to Ulta on like Sunday and then my boyfriend's sister called me today and she was like hey do you want to go to Ulta with me and I'm like of course of course I want to go and so I went again and I ended up buying new stuff so I've already recorded this video and I just decided to re-record it because now I have more things to add and that's just <sighs> I honestly have issues that I need to talk about but so the next one I got is the NYX dewy finish spray and I've tried it already I just kind of want you guys to see I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lightly mist my face Listen, the spray on this bottle, like I finally understand because 
I would watch makeup tutorials and they'd be like, I hate it when I have a spray bottle and it's like squirting a stream at you and now I totally get it. Because before like the spray that I had from Walmart would literally like either spray a stream or give you like five big clumps per spray. So it's like, I don't know, but this one is like the most perfect even spray that I've ever felt. It actually feels good. It just feels like a nice moist cool spray on your face I guess when I spray it I really love it and it has a dewy finish so I really love the dewy like natural look I love having like a bronze highlight um, and having it look dewy and just not as much matte and that's exactly what this gives you it doesn't make you look oily or anything but it actually does um, give you a dewy finish so the next finish spray was $7.99 so the sale that was going on at Ulta was there were a lot of items that were buy one get one free, there were a lot of items that were on clearance, what? It wasn't buy one get one free, buy one get one 50% off, buy two get two free, um, there were a lot of items on sale so there was just a lot going on. The next thing, this is what I bought today, um, it, can, it comes in this package, it's actually a brow duo brush and wand. Um, I wanted, I needed a new one of these. I just, okay. I mean, I guess like literally this part, if you can even see it, just flew off. It just came apart. So ladies and gentlemen, you hear first from me, do not apparently buy the I Lure London wand and freaking <laughs> I'm shook because the reason I needed a new one is because my old one did the same thing I'm actually not happy about this but it's fine you know we have to move on either way this one this eyebrow brush was ten dollars and guess what honey it's going back to the store tomorrow so just I I mean <laughs> Next, I got a lip liner, and this is actually NYX Professional Makeup Line, and it's in the shade, shade, honey, Urban Cafe. And I got a lip liner because I use a lot of neutral colors, or pink. I just use a lot of matte um, lipsticks, and I'm learning more about like making them work for each skin tone and something that Miss Jackie Ina told us, taught us honey when Jackie tells you something you do it, she taught us that we need to use a lip liner and that will help with the transition of the colors and so that's what I did Miss Jackie. This lip pencil was $7.99. Um, I hear good things about the NYX lip liners, they're creamy, they go on well, I'm excited. Another thing that I got was the Makeup Revolution, what do you even call this? Okay, so it's the Viv Vivid Shimmer Brick and it's in Bronze Kiss. And I really like this because even though it says it's a bronzer, you can see that it actually has three different colors. There's like a creamish white color, a rose gold color, a really um, copper color, I, there's like literally um, five different colors in here. I really like this because I <sighs> strive to get highlighters and bronzers where I can just put it on my face and it kind of melts in. I don't, I love it when a highlighter pops and I want it to be shimmery. Yes, I love all of those things, but I also want it to kind of just like complement my skin and I love these like golden tones and darker tones because if you put like a light highlighter this is not what I bought today but something like this these light colors on my face on my skin tone it, it just doesn't make sense so yeah I'm really looking forward to using that highlighter bronzer set I think it'll look really good on my skin tone the next thing I got guys I got so much stuff I think I'm going through a quarter life crisis but we won't talk about it so it's also from Makeup Revolution and it's called the Strobe Highlighter. Also, I don't think I said what the price of this one was. The price of the Shimmer Brick was $7. So the next thing that I got was Makeup 
Revolution Strobe Highlighter. And I really like this one because once again, it's just that golden tone. It's actually the very similar to this other one, except this one has more colors. It has like an orange, a pinkish tone, and this one's more of just, this one actually, I've used it. Just like I said, I used half of these products before this video. But um, this one actually shows up on my skin kind of light and palish. I thought, I mean, I guess I can see the undertones being light in here, but initially I thought it would be a really orange tone on my skin that would kind of just melt in, and it really wasn't. But I like it still. It's, it's a really good highlighter, so. And last but not least, I'm really, <sighs> I have to use another word than excited. I'm really enthralled about using this next item. I've already used it, and I already love it. So, I got the Ultra Skincare Facial Cleansing Brush. I guess that's the name for it. I love this brush already. I used it already and I put it back in this container. But as you can see, you actually get the scrubbing brush and then you get two different heads. So one's like a foam soft one and one's a brush. The brush feels so amazing. It feels like it's literally massaging your face. I love this. Um, this cleansing brush and you also get a pack of batteries it takes four like double-a AA or triple-a bat batteries which come with it and I also got this Ulta Beauty radiant skin brightening daily cleanser and it kind of went with the brush and I, I tried this too and I really like it like after I wash my face usually when I have a full face of makeup on I take the makeup off with a makeup wipe and then I will take the makeup off with a makeup wipe and then I use the brush to scrub the rest of the excess makeup off and you can see it come off since it's like a white tip you can see the excess makeup that doesn't come off when you're doing makeup wipes so the cleansing brush brush was $22 and the cleanser was $8.86 this was something that I was wanting to get for a while so it wasn't really on sale and that was fine with me it was only only twenty dollars it's something that people usually use for years you do have to switch out the brushes once they get worn but you can just replace the batteries and use the actual cleansing brush multiple obviously multiple times so i thought it was a pretty good investment so that is what i got from ulta i feel like i got some really good deals i feel like um i'm really uh i had a lot of fun in the store like i said that was my first time ever going to ulta and i liked how they have a whole section for makeup a whole section for hair a whole section for skincare you know they have like it's it's a huge store and i really loved that um and i'm really excited okay i'm really enthralled um to to go back but hopefully it won't be anytime soon because i did spend a lot of money there don't go through and add up all of the prices of these products to figure out how much i spent that's not cool guys thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up share it and make sure that you subscribe to my channel once again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye